morning, I'm Lynn, and welcome to another action-packed day at Utopia Farms. The rams are already out in their paddock. It's morning right now, and I'm just picking up the garbage. And I see that all the rams are under the willow tree for some reason. You would think we had a gardener, they sculpt the tree so nicely. If I could teach them to do yard work, I'd have it made. This is the group that was limping. There's Glad. He's having a, an itch right now. How you doing, Glad? You look like you're feeling a lot better. Yeah. Hi. You gonna go eat your food now? Hey, go on. Doesn't seem to be limping, but we're going to keep him in here until the rain stops. And here's Chewy. It's funny how uh, many people recognize Chewy, Chewy when they come over to buy rams. Hi, Chewy. Come here. Oh, she was just up here. Now she's going to be antisocial. I'm just going to go for a drink by the look of it. This time on the farm. season uh, is going to be coming soon and we like uh, the girls to be in good condition when uh, they go into breeding groups. Usually by August for our Suffolk. And these are the ones going to be shorn in a couple of weeks. Uh, not even two weeks now I think. So they'll be happy about that. And they're, they're more freshly weaned. So the ewes are out of the lamb paddock now. We've opened the back gate so they can go into this pasture again. It's grown up since they were last in here. Here they come. problem here is the mud. They don't want to go through the mud and you can't blame them for that. Oh, there's the Shetland. supposed to be a rain day so um, once it starts to pour rain uh, they'll come in. For now they get to have some fresh grass and keep our pastures managed. Good job Max! Here we are in the lamb barn. These guys are the older ones, so they're the most hungry. And this is the pen where everyone wants to be under the feeder. All the 
Suffolk are out. Because Suffolk's are more the eating type of sheep. It's all about food. And all the dorsets are laying under the feeder. This is the lamb paddock. We, the ewes are out of there today, and we're gonna put the ewe lambs back in here. Right now, I just uh, pulled out about 20 ewe lambs and put them in the ewe lamb group. I weaned them off their mums, so, so there's a lot of screaming in there right now. Um, and the ram lambs are probably coming off today too. But. Um, they use clean this off really nicely, but they left the stalks. Remember that are standing up in the field? There's basically no leaves left on them. And when they seed and are in stocky like that, they don't grow anymore. So in order for the grass to regrow, that needs to be cut down. So Arnie's just taking the bush hog and just knocking it down. And that will give the field uh, lots of opportunity to sprout up new growth. And because it's shorter now, the lambs will come out here and they'll graze this whole thing much easier. But already the lambs have figured out that uh, they're not on the right side. They're not with their mums anymore. So that's what the yelling is in the barn right now. Bush hog, for those who don't know, it's not like for hay, it's basically just a, a lawnmower that you pull behind your tractor. It just cuts it down. Well, this afternoon's plans were to wean the ram lambs and the ewes. We got the ewe lambs done this morning while Arnie was bush hogging the field, but since then it's been pouring, so we can't really move sheep around in the rain. So we've been waiting for it to pass and now it's getting close to dinner. So looks like tomorrow we're weaning sheep. Well, it's night chores. I was hoping we'd get some more videotaping done for you today, but it's been a downpour all afternoon and all night. So um, right now we're hoping that our barley and beans aren't drowning. We've got so much water again. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but the driveway's flooded down to the road and it's still going so we'll see what tomorrow brings and we're gonna say good night and hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at utopia farms bye for now